my fellow homeschooling parents. Um, this is Joseph with Homeschooling Daddies. I just want to give you a review of our curriculum for the 2014-2015 um, school year. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be covering all the subjects within the category of English, which will include um, language arts, reading, writing, and spelling. Now, to begin this a little introduction into our curriculum. I'm going to start off with language arts. Um, we're basically going to be using the same books that um, they're using within the school district that he was in for kindergarten and first grade. Um, so that's sort of like what he's used to. And so um, we'll try it for a year and, um, and then we'll continue on probably with that series if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll probably try to find something else. But most of these books, um, the textbooks, I got from Amazon. And the textbooks themselves and the workbooks, I got usually for $5 or under. Um, some of my textbooks I actually got um, for under a buck. Um, but the teacher's editions, the teacher manuals and all that are the ones that are expensive, where I think I paid around $10 for each of them. But this is the language art book that we're going to be using. It's for second grade. And let's see. And I'm going to try to get to a table of contents for you to show you what it covers. And um, in unit one, it covers sentences and personal narratives. Unit two, nouns and descriptive writing. Unit 3, Verbs and Explanatory Writing. Unit 5, Verbs and Writing that Compares. Unit 5, Pronouns and Expository Writing. And Unit 6, Adjectives, Adverts, and Writing a Story. And so um, we're basically going to use this book. And I also ordered a workbook. Um, haven't received the workbook quite yet. I'm still waiting for that to come in. But I do have the teacher's edition of the workbook um, right here. Um, and it's brand new. I actually thought this was the student workbook, but I didn't read correctly and it turned out to be the teacher's. But it comes with all the answers to what's in the workbook for the students and I believe this is only a few bucks too it was under under five bucks um, so and then right here this teacher's edition is what cost a pretty penny I believe this one was thirteen dollars maybe um, but it gives you ideas on how to teach the subjects and everything so it's pretty informative. Um, I mean, this is the teacher's manual would be ideal for somebody that's not um, that interested in the subject, um, but for somebody you know that has a good grasp of the English language and and sentence structures and things like that, it should come pretty easy. So that's for language arts, and then for spelling, we're going to use this book. That I believe this book I found at like a thrift store. Um, second grade, scholastic, 100 words, kids need to read by second grade. And it basically has 100 words. And 100 words are right here. And I was just viewing these right now and came to realize that my son actually can read most of these. Um, but he probably doesn't know how to spell a lot of them. So, um, so these are the spelling words that we're going to conquer. Uh, for sure over the next school year and then right here I got this at Goodwill um, 25 super fun spelling games that you can do with your child and um, so I do this I will will be doing this um, you know to help them with this spelling and then at this one I found at the dollar store um, even though it's for first grade it's like um, some of the words in here he can still use or learn because um, he didn't or I should say school didn't really focus that much on 
his English uh, reading skills um, this past year. And then finally, he's gotten into doing word searches. So I got him these books to do for fun. It helps with him, his spelling. So, um, you know, it's just something fun for him to do. And also learn at the same time. And then this is the one we're using for writing. Is this one, this one I got at Goodwill for second grade. And it basically starts off with, um, with manuscript and then goes into cursive. Let's see. So, um, so my son still needs to, I mean, his writing, um, could be better. So we're probably going to focus more on this part of the book for most of the school year. And then, um, towards the end of the school year, we'll go ahead and get into cursive. So if needed, we'll carry this book over into summer school or, um, possibly even the third grade, um, but I want to make sure that his printing is up to par before we get started on um, cursive. And then finally, this is the same series of um, uh, books he was using in kindergarten. Um, for example, it's like these are the ones we're going over now. Um, these are from his kindergarten, not kindergarten, I'm sorry, but first grade that they used in first grade. Um, so. These are the ones he used in first grade. And um, as I mentioned in another video, it's like he came home at the end of the school year with his workbook and his workbook only had probably not even a quarter of it um, completed. And so uh, what we decided is like over the summer is we went ahead and bought these from Amazon. Each of these books, I believe were like two bucks maybe on Amazon plus shipping and handling. And so we're now going over them and helping them fill in the pages that they didn't have them do at school. So that way, by the time we start second grade in September, he'll be ready for the second grade um, editions. So, but um, let me go ahead and show you. This is uh, for grade two. This is volume one. And they basically have like different themes within the book. And so it's like silly stories. And I know this is like basic core and all that, but um, as far as like teaching him to read, uh, we really don't have a problem with that. Because um, the main objective is to get him to read and to get into the habit of um, thoroughly reading um, to where he actually likes it. And then we have the workbook here. This workbook I bought used on Amazon, um, but only like only like probably like five pages have writing in them, which I can erase or white out um, for my son to use. And then right here is the teacher's edition for it. And of course, this was the more expensive of all the books. Um, but um, again, it gives you examples of. How to teach the subject and then this is volume two of the series um which if you're bringing your your school up into semesters where you have fall and spring semester that could work um, but we're basically going to go through it and once he's completed you know one book then we'll go ahead and just start the other whereas in public school you would actually have to wait until the next semester or yeah next semester so that's that and then of course the workbook again for it and this one I bought brand new this one's like brand new and I only got it for a few bucks and then the teacher's guide again which again cost me like around 10 bucks so but it has everything that you need to know to teach your child reading so we're going to go ahead and give all these books a try for the 2014-2015 school year and see what happens. And if we, if, it, if we like it, then we'll probably continue on with the same um, publisher uh, for his third grade. All right. Well, this is um, 
it for now for the English curriculum and uh, we'll go on to the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.